Hello guys, how are you today? My name is Abdullah Zuzawan from Indonesia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue our previous video and in this video, we are going to read data from database and we want to show all the data in our list style. So let's open our previous project. So this is our previous project and for the very first, we need to go to repository dot that file and in the previous we have add this method this method is used to insert data so in another word it's kind of like create data so the next is read data from table so we name it as read data and we give parameter table and we make it as asynchronous and inside this method we call like the before connection a white database and we want to return connection dot query table as simple as that so the next step is we need to go to category service and in the previous we have create one method save category and below that in another word save category it's kind of like creating data or create data or insert and right now we need to create a new method we name it as read categories and we make it as asynchronous and we name repository and we call read data and then we call our table name as simple as that so the next step is we need to go to category screen again and for the very first we need to create list which is list of category and we name it as category list and we assign to list category and the next step is we create a new method we name it as get all categories make it as asynchronous and we create a new variable we name it as categories assigned to category service and read categories and when we press this it will go to our read category and when we click this it go to our read data method so before that we need to call category list and we call list of category and below that we say categories for each we say category right here and we close with semicolon and inside this for each we say set state and inside that we create a new variable we name it as category model and we assign to category and below that we say category model dot name it's equal to category like this and again category model dot description and we call category list add we want to add category model so right here we say in state and we say super dot in state and we call get all categories method right here and we scroll to the scaffold and in the previous we use center widget and right now we want to remove this and we want to use list view dot builder and for the item builder we say context and index before that we need one parameters we call it as item count and this is our category list dot length and inside this item builder we want to return cut view and inside our cut view we call list style and inside this list style we use leading and we use icon button for our leading for the icon we say icon.edit 
and for the on press right now we make it blank and for the title we use row and inside this row we call children because we want to add some widget inside this title the first one is we need to call text widget right here and for the text we say category list and then index dot name comma on the right side we want to use i think icon button and for the icon we want to use icon dot delete and for the on press right now we make it as blank and i want to change the color so i say color dot red and again so let's run our app and go to our category screen we don't see anything right here so we see receiver null so i think we haven't yet override in its state right here and let's restart our app so let's check in category screen again still error and let's read error carefully still call on null receiver null we see for each return null and it go to line 31 and here and let's check on line 31 and let's see we call category service and we call method read categories in our category service and let's check in read categories and in our read categories we haven't yet returned anything so let's say return await and let's restart our app check in our categories and now we see our list so let's go to category screen again and go to body and inside row we say main axis alignment and space between hot reload boom so i think this is typo so let's show description below our category name so we can use subtitle i think here and we call text and like the before we call category list and then index and the description hot reload again and we see list of personal to do so to make our cut view to be more beautiful let's give padding press here and press this wrap with padding and remove this and let's say only i want to only top and then left and right hot reload again look like this so let's give elevation to our cut view so let's say 8.0 look like this so if we think this subtitle it's make our cut view to be bad so we can remove it and just hot reload it look like this so we have successfully read 
our data from table and we show the data in our list style using listview.builder so make sure our method return something so that's enough our video today see you on the next video